And so the fact that you lack it means that there must be a reason for lacking it. And so I right. mean, I don't feel like you, this even actually escapes well, a burden I, 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 have, I, have a, I have an argument on that, actually. I have, on my blog, as you know, I write a blog called 3M Philosophy. And one of the blogs I actually wrote was that very thing, that even – even lack of belief has a burden of proof. Right. And I actually proved it using logic, using second order belief. Because a second order belief is a still a form of belief that requires rationality to be justified. Mm -hmm. It still requires some kind of, or I should say, justification to be rational. And a lot of people don't understand that because agnosticism is a position on the question, but it's just not a direct position, right? It is an indirect position. It's called a second order position. And because it's a second order belief that you think to yourself, I believe that I'm unable to answer this question, it's a type of belief. It is a Something that requires justification is why you were not able to come to a conclusion either way. And you're exactly right. When somebody says, I lack a belief, there's a justification there. There's a burden of proof. And in epistemology, burden of proof and burden of justification are synonymous. I've never seen any usage of them that has any kind of demarcation between one and the other. They're used interchangeably. Now, that's not the same thing in law. The law uses them differently. Uh, the burden of proof has to do with what's called the burden of production and burden of persuasion where burden of production is what you need to bring charges for a court case, and burden of per, uh, uh, persuasion is what you need to convince a judge or jury. But in epistemology, when we say burden of proof, all we're asking is what is your justificatory conditions to hold a particular position? Michael Martin, who wrote a book about negative atheism, he was a big advocate for the lack of belief usage, and even he says negative atheism has to be justified to be rational. Right.